Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, well, we... A lot happened. Uh, we messed with Barbos, but we, we met a new friend named Judith. Now, I would show her to you, but I can't... Listen to that. I can't actually go into the uh, menu right now, which is a bit odd. But, you know, we're gonna deal with it. And, um... Kind of curious what she's gonna be like in battle. I believe she has a spear. Oh. Okay, this is my weapon. Here you guys' weapons back. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Ooh, I wonder if it'll be a little quest to get it back. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. She has obtained a spear. Okay, well let's uh, check her out now. Crescent moon. Charge in an enemy. Hit with a kick. Okay, not what I expected. New moon blade. Charge forward. Attack with your lance. Let's see, I think I want that here already. Um... See, deliver a roundhouse kick in the air and finish with another kick as you land. So that's going to definitely be up. And then Luna Fang is jump into the air and land on the enemy. Never mind. Sounds pretty cool to me. She has a war pike. Get some boots. Silver circlet and a trench coat. And we will give her the boots. Any skills? Ooh, strength, aerial arts, able to form base arts in mid-air. Interesting. Okay. Wait, roll. Decreases damage taken by half when staggering. Not what I expected, but okay. Pineapple gel, heck, Yetzel. By the way, if you're watching this, I know it's a few days late, but uh, Fire Birdies, happy birthday. I hope you had a good one. Really do. Now let's see. It looks like we can't go any higher, and we can't go outside either. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... All right, not broken. It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. Sorcerer's Ring Level 2. A mysterious ring that can shoot air capable of making physical impact. Interesting. Was that fancy ring a present from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, no, no. I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. Hey, be nice to Rita. That's a very rude thing to say. Okay, let's try over here. Wait, who are you? Thanks a lot, you even got my stuff back. Wanna buy something? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I synthesize any, ooh. Knuckle duster. Let's do it. Uh, medium size bag. Oh, can I do a spear? Looks like a new. That's okay. But she actually starts off with some good stuff. Oh. Leather coat. Okay. 20? Battle suit. Hmm. Okay. And what's the accessory I can make? Accessories. Ooh. 
Oh, that's nice. I remember finding that in Symphonia. Um, wasn't it? What did I just see? A thief's ring or a dream? Oh, defense ring. I thought I saw something. I thought it's a dream ring. Okay. You always had to be in the spirit to sell. Come on back again. Well, let's finally equip him with an. Wow. That's a lot more attack. Landing step combo voltage. And heavy hit. Increased chance of stunning. That's cool. Cover TP after two consecutive three hit combos. Also recovers after combos and multiple. That's weird. And then also able to cancel action with the back step. Okay. And also back step repeatedly. Did the other one move too or no? It did not. So that one is broken. I guess it's because of what we see with the whole um, uh, pipe. And he did say we can't go down. But let us go up. Ooh, I want a chest. You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? I can. Are you gonna give us a level two now? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Then try this. Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong over limits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Look into the orb to receive its powers. It enhances over limits. Okay, new pages have been added to the battle book. Let's quickly look at our items. Okay, so that's that's a key item. I can't actually use it. Um, someone did say that I should start using these, but like, I don't know. I don't know. Feels wrong. Battle book. Over limit level two. You can trigger a level two over limit when the over limit gauge reaches a second level. Use right to use one bar of the gauge. Use others to use two bars of the gauge at once. In addition to a level one attack, the level two over limit will inflict additional damage on a fallen enemy. Okay. When two characters go into over limit at the same time, both characters can gain the effect of the other uh, other skill symbol on top of their own. For instance, if one has a skill symbol Fleck and the other Strim, both characters' attack power and speed will increase when they go into over limit. Okay, <gasps> let's use Judith. <laughs> Here we go. Here, uh, uh, Ooh, that was cool. Hey. Sorry for being so strong. <laughs> Sorry for being Just so strong. Be Ash and Moonlight, great Lancer. Nice. All right, so she's definitely going to be someone to get used to using. Um, I mean, that's how it is whenever you get a new ally, but I, I like the idea of a spear. Oh, hey, I'm glad I could not make that because here we go. Let me quickly remind myself. So Crescent Moon was the hit him with a kick. Luna Fang was the jump up and land on them. Uh, Moonlight Havoc was the roundhouse kick. And the blue new Moon Blade. We also learned um, Luna Gale. Continuously kick the enemy in midair during an upside down spin. Okay. Um, let's do that instead. I can't see. Don't hurt us now. What in the chicken strips are you? Oh right, I need to do um the gear golem. Oh, I've already done a horse raptor. I thought I could do stuff uh, in midair already. Oh gosh, we're almost dead. Oopsies. Um. Thank you. 
Okay, let's get that one taken care of. Okay, and then we'll do magic lens on this boy. Inorganic type. Uh, Yuri, you need to heal yourself, dude. I would like to... Okay, good thing we bought stuff. Ooh, a door. Anything? Leather coat. Glad I didn't buy one of those either. Very cool. It's not a lot, but it's more than zero increase. I'll take 10 defense. Really don't know what that translates to, you know, but um, we take it. We take it all the same. Let's get this over with. Um, okay, a scissor beak. Not a very strong attack, so I'm going to stop using it, to be honest. Okay, it's almost dead good. Oh gosh, Yuri. Can I... Can I please move? Gracias. Ugh, I'm, I'm not used to not having my healers. <laughs> Uh-huh, thanks. Uh. Okay, can I get you up real quick? Oh, she doesn't have the thing. Alright, you've got to heal yourself, kid. Okay, good. Gosh, stop using that one. There we go. Being so strong. Broken dagger and large claws. I'll take those. Uh oh, orange gel. All right. Let's get him while we can. Guess we can do this. Yeah, it's, they're all the same sort of guy. Okay, so if you can get multiple hits, it's not terrible. Hey, come back here. Yuri, uh, magic lens this foo. Cool beans. I should probably buy some more. So she's a little slower than I thought she'd be as a, um... A spear wielder, but you know, we'll, we'll make it work. Crescent axe. Nothing? Okay. Um. I <laughs> got him. Let's get this over with. Ooh, sorceress. Let's get rid of them. Twitch. Do things. Oh, I need a Yul Yuri. Magic lens on the witch. Okay. Now I believe we've got all of them. Get this bandito. Oh, there's another one? Didn't even notice. That's okay. Ooh, we got the Grimoire page. That's what we needed. 
Heck yeah! Um, let's see, orange gels, TP. I'm coming down here because I can buy stuff. Ooh, also I think these were life bottles? Perfect, a life bottle, but it's more than zero that I don't have to buy now. Let's see, buy a uh, magic lens. Um, I can't just buy a ton of those. They're very expensive. Um, cool. Should be good. I hope. But I do want to use Yuri for a little bit. Um, because we just haven't been. Let's see. What do you have? You have Azure Wolf Strike. And you have Dragon Swarm. So, board and... Empty or forward and up. Let's crush an eagle. Strike the ground and hit the enemy with a force of your weapon. Hmm. Concealed wave. Strike an enemy with your weapon, sending them flying a great distance. Okay. Those are go. Try to remember them. Darn. Let's get this over with. Oh, We're done. All right. Yeah, I so I'm a bit better with Yuri, which makes sense. Any no? Okay, so just going through these openings, I suppose. These exits. Kind of thought we'd go up more. Oh. Oh gosh, he turns it into a guitar. That's so there. cool. That's the last of them. <laughs> Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Yeah, a little bit. Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Good friends. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. She threatened to hit Carol. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. <laughs> and who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith, and we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. I didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh, I think she likes me. Did you just do a backflip standing still? That's amazing. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip there he goes hiding stuff for people again yeah the critia do like their research and a bit racially profiling uh, were you able to locate your aqua blastia nope not this time either i wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower ah! whoa <laughs> oh hey flynn are you all right flynn 
What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. Oh, good. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. Oh. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up. We've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. Is Flynn finally joining the party? What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. Hmm. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Aren't you a little old for hide and seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? Interesting. He knows them. These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. He's looking out. For oh, Raven's looking out for us. I love that. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. And they're going to look out for us as well. Interesting, Duke. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. Um, are you implying there's another world that does hold your interest? Well, Flynn earned the best buddy title. Flynn also joined the party, but by, party, by the way. Oh, I knew you joined the party. De Demon Fang. Ugh. Tiger blades slice the enemy up, then cut them down. Ooh, first aid. Blazing pillar smash. Demonic chaos. Release multiple kind of shockwaves along the ground. Hellfire blade. Throw a fireball at an enemy from midair. Shining falcon. Summon a light spirit. Summon a light spirit? All right, get your butt in the front, sir. Um, there's so many allies now. Let's see. Um, let's summon a light spirit with down. First aid with up. Demon Fang. Wait. <gasps> Tiger Blade. I remember using that with Lloyd and Sonic Thrust. Um... Grab the enemy with a magic seal? Interesting. Alright, let's get Demon Chaos over here. And Hellfire Blade. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, this will be interesting. Night Sword Spur. Okay, we're still learning shield and magic shields. That's all right. Um, that's up his agility. What skills? Oh, heck yeah. Um, occasionally nullifies a fit. That's nice. Item pro. Do I have item throw? Heck yeah. Um, okay. Just use both. Hmm. What's up, Yuri? Is something wrong with your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, but my arts change depending on which I use. What? It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. <laughs> really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break. 
Because, you know, dual wielding is stronger. But wait, I'm sorry. What? An axe with a crescent blade, the sharp thick blade is effective against heavily armored enemies. Okay. Azure Edge, Fang Strike, Destructive Field. And then... They don't change. Maybe they change visually? I don't know. But Reflect, that could be interesting. Uh, let's see... Swords up can come off. Axes up can go down. Or go up, whatever. Reflect a certain amount of damage from an attack. Insightful? Hmm. Ooh, this is a lot of freedom. Oh, it's... I didn't even realize there was a middle. Just assumed that was a door. Or a wall, sorry. Of course it's a door. Um... I feel like up is the right way to go. And this axe looks good. What? That, those are not doors. Looks like the Bardiche. I know it's Bardiche or whatever. From uh, Diablo 2. Uh, so they said the front door is locked, right? Yes. I guess I could just technically leave? Huh. But why would ya? Maybe to save the game, you little dumb... Dumb me. Why am I being mean to myself? <laughs> just kidding. Everything's fine. Let's um, just hope that touchy subject. You think we might cut down on the battles a bit? This old man can't take it for much longer. Really? We haven't been fighting any more than usual. Yeah, but keeping up with your youthful pace is killing me. Perhaps we should go with the pace of someone older and slower? Who are you calling older and slower? Don't worry. You're still young and full of life. Ah, yes. I'm glad you understand me, at least, Judith, honey. He was the one who called himself an old man. Cut him some slack, Carol. People his age get sensitive about these things. Mm. I mean, I'm 33. I don't really like the aging process, because, like, my knees and back hurt a lot more often than I'd prefer, but, like, I'm not, like, oh, no, I'm getting older. Rivet belt. A belt with thorns attached. The decorative metal conducts air well. Interesting. Overcast. I don't want to rise attack, but combo magic sounds interesting. Um, hold B aftercast to increase the effect of a novice spell while consuming TP. Interesting. Then combo magic, able to link novice spells and base arts. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Well, that looks like a frickin' spaceship. Hold a bottle! I guess I didn't really check the... Um, barrels here. Okay. Well, they had a chest, so I guess. Ah, oh, gosh, what do I want in the party? Um... Hmm... Bring in Rita instead of Yuri. Do I have a mage? A healer? Yeah, I think that'll be good. Have I gotten any new spells with you, by the way? Uh, yeah, I got stalagmites somewhat recently. I miss repeat already. <laughs> I gotta give the new people a chance, you know? Gotta try them all. Gotta try them all, Pokemon. Cool, you didn't get a back attack like some of those dumb birds do. Oh, you're learning. Oh, I remember that. He's just Lloyd. <laughs> oh my god. That was a fine bit of training. 
He's Lloyd. So as a kid, I thought that was pronounced colonel. Because, of course, it looks like that. So you use a spear, too. Oh, are you linking it? Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well, not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? Hey. We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa. That's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Dongrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Yeah, Yuri, she cares about you. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course. Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. To school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? You've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. Yeah, I think Judas is smart enough to know that or recognize that without you telling her together again. I can't believe I made that kind of mistake. I should have moved right then. Damn it! Somebody what? shut this old man up. What mistake did you make? Oh, you sweet girl. Thank you for listening. If I just met that pretty and hottie before Yuri, the two of us would be oh off gosh. together just... Ha! Whoa! Go easy on him, Rita. You got a problem. Uh-uh. I guess the old man couldn't care less about me. Um, well, I'm glad you weren't hurt, Yuri. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. What's this? It's a conduction tube for air. This carries air up higher in the tower, then? Why would they want to carry air higher in the tower? T to feed something higher in the tower. Come to think of it, there was a giant blastia on the roof of the tower. But there's no air passing through here. What are you talking about? We can see it. Maybe it's broken. Looks that way. The gear stopped. Oh. I see. So this is what's powering the air supply. It looks like it's not moving because the gear's teeth are out of alignment. I think it might move if we put some energy into it. Would we, why would we want it to move? Well, we needn't waste energy on moving strange gears. 